Y entonces, ¿qué, qué, 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 qué es lo que está pasando ahí? De, deja esta vaina ahí. All right, we're back. Welcome back to the show. Sorry about that. We had a little technical difficulty. Just, just communicating with my producer real quick. We got another package over here. This is the Amazon logo. But the way they deliver stuff, it should really be like this. Like this is what you're gonna be. This is how your smile is gonna be turned like that, you know. Let's take a quick gander, real quick. And here we go. Well, this one's in better condition than the last one. But still, not, you know, mint. Look at this. Here are the other figures in the series. We got Braun Strowman, Jeff Hardy, and Zack Ryder, which I have in a previous episode unpackaged. Here we go, let's read that. Authentic superstar moves. Gut wrench suplex. The, the man from Iran. The Iron Sheik. Look at the artwork. Well, the photograph. Let's open them up. And have a look-see. Stupid crap again. Get rid of that. Don't forget to recycle everybody. Even though China and all those other countries are sending back our recycling bags that we've been sending over there, they're no longer taking them. Anyway, let's not get, you know, environmental. I'm not a, I'm not a hippie or nothing like that. I don't want to get misconstrued. Anyway, here we go. Let's look at the figure. You can see they reused the boots from Xavier Woods because you can see the, the remnants of the kick pads. They used the same mold from Xavier Woods of the New Day. But for display purposes or just you know, whatever, it looks pretty good, you know. This is what I was talking about earlier, the shiny plastic and the matted down, dull, softer plastic combination. Mattel, once again, trying to save a buck. All right, so that's the Iron Sheik, the man from Tehran, Iran. Comes with no accessories. It would have been cool to come with a headdress. I don't know what it's called, you know, the thing that the Arabs be wearing, but let's look at the other Iron Sheiks as shown in previous episodes, the LJN, the first Mattel Iron Sheik, you see he comes with the headdress, see, you can, it fits perfectly on the other one because they're using the same size heads. Look at that. All right, we got that. And let's let's not forget Funko Pop Iron Sheik, also with the headdress. Anyway, let's not get distracted with the older versions of the Iron Sheik. This is the Mattel Retro. Let's try out his move, which I believe was the gut wrench suplex. Let's just grab a random jabroni. This guy. Let's see how it works. Oh, sh okay. Get your ass out of here. This is a cool figure. I don't know if I like this look. This looks like kind of like a bobble bobblehead action. I don't know. In the 
in the original Hasbro's Akeem, the African Dream had an action like this, but he would move forward. And so would Andre the Giant. But anyway, this is pretty cool. I give this a three stars out of a possible five. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, um, register to vote, drink your milk, you know, um, what else, do your chores and everything and, you know, just, just, just do it, damn it.